Since my arrival in Australia almost 21 years ago, I've seen Australia make a, quite a bit of effort when I first got here on gender equity, and we sort of stalled for the last 10 years. But we need to think about our ways to improve gender equity within our disciplines and within academia. And so I think Athena Swan, of all the programs I've seen around the world, is the program that seems to be having the biggest effect. It's really getting universities and research organizations to think about the problems and measure them, come up with ways to fix those problems, and then act upon those problems, and then remeasure and see how we've done. And so, from my perspective, it's the thing that I think has the best chance of making meaningful change in our sector. I see technology and the science that underpins that technology as being really the big game changer for Australia in the future. If we do it well, we're going to be, remain a prosperous nation. If we do it poorly, then we're going to be less prosperous. We have a lot of talent across Australia, and science and technology need some of the brightest minds that Australia has to offer. All the evidence is that that's half in men, half in women. And when systematically we look at uh, a university, and we see that only 20% of our senior professors, for example, are women, you know you're throwing away a lot of valuable talent. And that valuable talent is stuff we simply cannot afford to lose. From my perspective at ANU, my hope is to, by engaging more effectively with women, I'm going to actually have an advantage, advantage over people around the world, and an advantage here in Australia of attracting the best talent. And that's what universities are all about. It's about attracting great talent and uh, resourcing it to do great things. And if I have the advantage of getting an extra segment of the population, women, then that's going to be great for my institution. I guess I've spent most of my life working with men and women, uh, more men than women. My own Nobel Prize winning team had no women in it at all. It reflected the generation of astronomers that I grew up with. Uh, I had a very strong mother who, uh, I guess, taught me how valuable female contributions can be and that I don't want to see uh, those contributions excluded. So to me, it's just sort of almost a human rights aspect. It's, it's something I feel very strongly uh, that if we're going to have, I guess, a society I want to live in, one that is equal, I guess I need to help make the change. And so to me, it's, it's an actual, absolutely fundamental part of living in a society that I want to be part of. One of the, I think, common uh, misconceptions about dealing with gender equity is that it's a female problem. In my field, which is 70% male, uh, the lack of women in it is a problem for the whole discipline. So it's a problem that men as well as women need to embrace. And so within the Athena Swan program and, for example, Male Champions of Change and other uh, great initiatives we have in Australia, you know, the role that men are going to be playing in trying to fix the problem uh, is not to be understated. And so I'm hoping to be joined by male and females in the Athena Swan program as it rolls out here in Australia.